Welcome to Tutormate Home. What follows are instructions for navigating the Tutormate Home platform. The first step to getting started is to select those days and times when your child will be available for a tutoring session. You will send this information to your child's volunteer tutor and they will choose a day and time that works for them from the options you provided. This introductory video will be presented each time you visit the Tutormate platform. If you would prefer not to watch the video, click the box, don't show this again. You can close the introductory video by clicking next. The next window presented is the scheduling window. This is where you will select the days and times your child is available for tutoring. You can always access this window from the schedule session link at the top of the screen. Step one, select the days your child is available from the scheduling window. Under which days are you available? Click on the day or days your child will be available for tutoring. You can click on as many days as you would like. Click on the times your child is available for each day selected. If you need to change a day or time, simply click to unhighlight the highlighted entry. Step two, select the audio option. You will need to indicate how you want the volunteer to call your child for the next session. There are two options available for the audio connection. Using the audio on your computer, also known as IFL voice, or using a mobile phone. Both options are available when using a desktop or laptop computer. If your child will be using the audio on your computer for their reading sessions, select Call My Computer. When using the Call My Computer audio setting, the call will ring on the computer and your child will use the computer microphone to talk to their tutor. The tutor will be heard through the computer speakers. We recommend your child use a headset if one is available. If your computer does not have audio, you will need to use a mobile phone line for your child and tutor to be able to talk to each other. If your child will be using a mobile phone to talk to their tutor, select Call Your Phone. Be sure to enter the mobile phone number into the field provided. The volunteer will call this mobile phone number when it's time for the session. When you are done selecting the days, times and preferred audio connection, click Save Changes. An email will be sent to your child's volunteer with the information you have indicated in the schedule screen. The volunteer will review and agree to a day and time proposed by you. You will receive an email notification to check the Tutormate account to see if the volunteer was able to select one of the days and times you provided. Once the day and time is confirmed, the red unscheduled will turn to green scheduled. If the volunteer is not able to make any of the proposed days or times you indicated, the scheduled notice will be read and indicate unscheduled tutor unavailable. If this happens, you can propose new days and times from the scheduling window. If you would like to send a message to the volunteer to discuss additional options, click on the message link at the top of the page. Click create new message and select the volunteer's name. Now that you've understood how to schedule the time of your child's session, let's think about how you actually start the session when the time comes. Please remember that Tutormate works best on Google Chrome. So whatever device your child is using for their reading session, please use Google Chrome as the internet browser if at all possible. To start a session, you will need to have the Tutormate application open on a desktop or laptop computer. If using a mobile phone, you will navigate to the application after the call is answered. When it's time for the tutoring session, please make sure your child is sitting at the computer device or has the mobile phone available. If using a computer 
and you have selected mobile phone for your audio, please be sure your mobile phone is available to receive the incoming call. When using a desktop or laptop computer for the session audio, there are two prompts to note. Number one, before the first session, you may be prompted to activate the audio and speaker components on the computer. This is generally a one-time activation and you should not need to do this before each session. And number two, the computer will display the prompt, I'm ready, prior to the session. Click, I'm ready, if your student is at the computer and ready for the session. By clicking, I'm ready, the system acknowledges your child is sitting at the computer and will generate a number for the tutor to call. When using a desktop or laptop computer with your mobile phone, make sure the TutorMate homepage is launched. The volunteer will call your mobile phone and the session can begin. When using your mobile phone for both the TutorMate software and the audio connection, be sure to sign in to the TutorMate application prior to the session. Answer the incoming call and navigate back to the TutorMate application to begin the tutoring session. During this online tutoring session, your child and his or her volunteer tutor will read stories and play games that focus on building reading skills. Not only does this extra support help to promote reading fluency, a critical skill for all early readers, but it also helps to increase reading confidence communication skills, and a love of reading and learning. Chat support is available should you need help during your session. The chat support agent does not have remote access to your device, but they can troubleshoot most issues to make sure the session successful for your child. If you have questions about the TutorMate program, please contact us at help at tutormate.org.